Uh, truck. Alright. Like we're like a young young adults, I'd say. Poor thing. What's with all the road kills these days? Don't you look at me like that. Yeah, he ran over a squirrel. Smells like a farm. And road kill. Deactivate the sense simulator or get away from here already. Alright. Whoa, bus. Horsey. Why is it blue? I like blue horses. Whoa. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what. Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. Yeah. Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh no. That can't be good. It's definitely how you ride a horse. Don't just stand there, help me! This is not in the job description. Alright. So we gotta go help Neil. We need a horse for ourselves though, if we're gonna catch him. I would like to ride a horse. That'd be nice. Horse! Oh, hey guys. I'll just take this. Or Hi. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah! River! Be careful. What's the matter? Let's go. Hey, wait up. That horse just ran straight through me. The nerf. Huh. I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. Eva! Alright, I gotta go chase him, I guess. This is about 90% more than I can handle. What a moron. Oh, what the corn cob. I love the way they speak. It's basically okay. Hey there. River! Hi! Hi! Hey! Hey guys! What's up? Whoa! I didn't even mean to do that, I was following them. Thanks! Ow. Alright. Let me see. I ran into River and I got a moment a not a momentum, but a memory thing, so if I run into Johnny. Yeah, there we go. Only one more, probably back where he was. Dr. Watts. Neil. Neil Watts. Right. Hi. Momentum detected. Here, this one is a little dude. But I'm not getting on that horse again. Alright. That's fine. I need one more, don't I? I believe I do. I keep getting stuck on flowers, too. It's annoying. Alright, uh... Where would the second one be? Yay, there we go. Alright. Back over to whatever that was. I love the music. Ken Gao was really good at this. Great job to him. Alright. What is this? Is this a purse? I believe it is. Alright. Four moves. One, two, three, and a four. Yay. Alright. So, they went horseback riding. It's a bunch of happy memories right now. Does not look good. It's the doctor's office. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of persuasive de 
developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Have you known when you were a child, miss? It could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'll help you to understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equine, th equine therapy. Equine equestrian. Right, that's what the horseback riding was. A ranch just north of the pier offers it. I can contact them for you. Horseback riding therapy. That sounds nice. Never been horseback riding, really. Told you so. Alright. Like when I was a little kid on like a ride, but never really by myself. Stuffed toy platypus. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got a pretty bad taste in the animals though. It's a platypus, come on man. You can't you can't be mad about that. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem. It's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Thank you. Uh, I guess that explains the ones in the house. Right, the ones in the house weren't ticking either. The clock? Why would the clock be a memento? Alright, but anyways... Here. Tony Atwood. Plain Tony handbag. One more. Lamp. Plant. This book. Um. You. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Uh, everything goes backwards. Has a different effect than just going through things normal time. Alright. This clock then. What have we got here? Uh, four tries. One, two, three, and four. Yay, doing well. Alright, let's prepare it. Activate, initiate, something else that ends with eight. Is this a movie theater? Look! I know, I can't believe you once paid to see this stuff in theater. No, you idiots. Look, we leaped! He's a little boy now! We must have skipped a bunch of years. Yeah, we did. Holy overcooked macaroni, the kid's in the theater all by himself. What a loser! <laughs> uh, you gotta. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? <laughs> uh, Dr. Neil's my favorite character out of this, I think. Besides River. River is amazing. Where are you going? Movie hasn't ended. And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. QED. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Alright, so... 
He was watching a movie. We don't know which movie, and now he's alone. Whoa, wait, I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Be quiet, that's not even a full sentence. Let's just go look for some mementos. Alright. Alright. Do we just keep making people disappear? What are you doing? That's the third person you've removed here. Eh, not like it's permanent. Alright, so we just remove people. That's nice, so we make him even more alone. This guy... You know that poking them out of the way like that does nothing, right? Then why complain? She has a good point. So let's get rid of every last one of you. Oh, hey, you're over there too. Almost done. Hi. Getting stood up? Now oh, that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. Alright, let's get everyone out. And, oh look, this place is all empty and creepy now. I hope you're happy. And now, he's all alone. Well, that's with the lights. Well, there's nothing here. Hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there's no olives this time. It's her! They look so cute when they're little. Still the same hair. River! You were in there this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I'm not the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together, and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know where you were. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. <laughs> uh, what's wrong? You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come on, let's head back in before it ends. That's cute. So we're on a movie date together, except... It was a different type of together. Alright. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. Alright, so we go back in. Why is this thing here? They bought a ticket for a platypus. Maybe just because there's an empty seat. Movie must not be too good then. There are a lot of open seats there. Okay. Um, let me see here. Start with diagonal? Oh yeah, that was good. Good choice. Usually if I don't know what to do, I always go diagonal. Platypus. Again. This platypus is like half the mementos, I think. You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. This is true. That platypus is being a lifesaver. All the memories.